Hey guys, today we got another video for you today. This glitch is the infirmary glitch, pretty easy. Uh, you do need the Path of Sorrows though, but uh, other than that, it's a pretty easy glitch to get into. No zombies can touch you, not even the warden. Uh, there are a couple of death barriers, but uh, I'll go through them when I get through the video. Uh, with that and done, let's get right into it. You don't have to follow my loadout, but I strongly suggest you do. Uh, you should definitely have Stronghold, uh, Mule Kick, because who knows when you'll get the next, uh, you know, uh, max ammo. Uh, Wraith Fire wouldn't hurt, and you, I don't, I know I have uh, DJ5 Ragnarok, but you do need the Path of Sorrows for this. Now pack a punch your weapons as many times as you want, possibly I would do it four times to get as strong as possible because you won't be trying to leave the glitch anytime soon. Uh, so definitely pack a punch that to get its max strength to go zombies faster. Now you should get your path of sorrows to level 2 to do the dash. What I like doing is hoarding all the zombies and training them and then mowing them down when I have the path of sorrows ready and charged up. Now you want to come to my location in the infirmary and come up, mimic my movements. Uh, it's kind of hard. You want to aim towards the edge-ish and dash into it. Uh, it takes me a couple tries to get into but I eventually do. Pretty easy glitch and uh, I think it's very nice you can get uh, pickups from here as like if you're as close to it as possible and you can go through some of the edges without hitting death barriers that I found out. You don't want to go too far to the left though because there are a ton of death barriers over there that could actually mess you up and you don't want to really die so make sure you you know stick through that room maybe through this little edge that I try I go into sometimes to kill zombies a little bit easier hopefully you guys did enjoy the video if you did leave a like subscribe for more future content and I'll talk to you guys later